how to make a dynamic door block in AutoCAD that trim walls automatically? If you are new to this channel and you want to save time in AutoCAD every Tuesday, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So we are halfway to achieve our AutoCAD dynamic door block the trim walls. So now go ahead and type LA and press enter to open the layer palette. Click this icon and create a new layer. I'll call it for this example door items but you picked your favorite layer. The key point here is to choose the color to a true white color by clicking in here and pressing OK. Now make sure you set this layer current by right click on it and choose set current. Now click your layer palette and what you're gonna do now is add a point by typing point and pressing enter. Now click shift on your mouse and pick meet between two points. Click here and here and you just placed a point in the middle of your door. Now to change the appearance type DDPT and press enter. As you can see your point is showing really small now. Next use the stretch next use the stretch action select this parameter and then this point associated. Now select the area to be stretch here and here and finally select the object the point in this case and press enter. Now select this action and go to your properties and change the distance multiplier to 0.5. Next change to a new door visibility on your ribbon Click visibility mode to turn on everything. Now select the point that you just created and finally click make visible. Now you can turn off all of the other objects. Now go ahead and change back to existing visibility state and choose the stretch icon again. Click this parameter and click this point. Now select the area to be stretched including the point and finally select the point and press enter. Again select this stretch icon that you just created for the point and in the properties change the distance multiplier to 0.5. Now let's choose the new door on the visibility state just to check that indeed the point is showing there also. Now let's change to the shut visibility state and we can see that the point is not showing here but we don't need it for this door because we're not mirroring this door anyway. So let's go back to your ribbon and choose existing door this time. Then you're gonna add a then you're gonna add a new parameter, in this case the alignment parameter, so click on it and then click the following point like so and finally click to the left. As you can see an alignment parameter was assigned to this existing door. So let's change to the new visibility now and choose visibility mode to turn everything on, select the alignment parameter and click make visible. Now you can turn everything off again, click visibility mode 
and let's test this out and let's test this dynamic door I'm gonna quickly draw a wall and let's test the alignment parameter so click and drag this door to the wall if you press shift you can move it freely I'll move it to this other side and as you can see the door aligns automatically to the wall this is because we just added an alignment parameter so everything looks pretty good oops our alignment parameter is not showing for the shut door so let's fix it let's change to shut visibility state let's select the alignment parameter and click make visible now you can turn everything off again using the visibility mode command let's change to the existing visibility state make sure you are in the door items layer and let's create a rectangle this time to achieve our automatic trim so type in R EC to start the rectangle command click, the, click this point and then this other point okay now let's stretch this point from here a tiny bit around 0 0.1 let's apply the same from this other point point 0.1 and in this other one let's say point 0.2 now that we have our rectangle ready let's use the wipeout command by typing wi and pressing enter now type p and choose the rectangle finally click yes and press enter as you can see a wipeout was created then select the wipeout choose object visibility and pick show for all states and type dr to start the draw order command following by b and press enter to send this wipeout to the back then i'll click the visibility mode on the ribbon and select everything but the wipeout then moved everything let's say 20 feet to the right use the M command again type in M and enter and this time followed by P to select the previous objects now move it back to the left 20 feet and finally click the visibility mode again to turn everything off now you're probably wondering what we just did the reason we moved everything to the right and then move it back to the left was because there is a wipeout glitch in AutoCAD where basically it shows the wipeout in front of your objects so let's continue what we need to do now is click this stretch action and click right click on it and choose modify selection set click the following area to be stretched and click the wipeout and press enter now let's apply the same procedure to this other stretch so click the action right click on it and choose modify selection set click the area to be stretched and finally select the wipeout and press enter
Now let's test this block. Click test block. And let's see how the and let's see how this dynamic door is working. So if we stretch, we can see the we can see that the wipeout is also stretching. If we stretch the other way, oops. Neither this wipeout and hinge it's associated with the door now. So let's quickly fix this. Click the close block editor and select this stretch action. Click on it. As you can see the area to be stretched is not including the wipeout is not including neither the wipeout or hinge. So let's easily fix this by selecting this stretch area point or grip and move it up a tiny bit like so. Now let's test this block again. Let's stretch it down and as you can see everything is looking pretty good now. Let's change to the new door. Let's stretch this door and either the horizontal as well as the vertical stretch are, work are working nicely this time. And the last step that we're going to do is type the wipeout frame command and set it to zero. This will turn off the wipeout in AutoCAD. So we're done here. Click save block to save the changes and you can now close the block editor. This dynamic door is ready so let's create uh, so let's quickly create a wall in AutoCAD and let's place our dynamic door like so. As you can see, this door is working perfectly. If we change to existing, it's also working nicely. The last step is to add your dynamic door block to your AutoCAD tool palette. So type control and three to open your AutoCAD tool palette. Click your door block and drag it to your tool palette. So let's test it. I'll draw a wall and click your door. Awesome. Let's test it one more time. Now this dynamic door is working nicely, but I would like to go even farther. Let me share with you how I actually draw doors in AutoCAD. So draw a, draw a small rectangle. Click and drag the rectangle to your tool palette. Right click on it and choose properties. Let me fix this dialog box a little bit and here under name you can type the door name I'll put dynamic door I, I'll right click on it and specify image find the image for your door I'll pick this door and choose open Apply the same steps for this other icon. Next, change use flyout from yes to no. Here on the command string, erase this polyline and type in the following. 
asterisk before cc and then insert semicolon the name for your block in this case dynamic door semicolon again that represents enter this slash for user input three times semicolon for three times enter then use the mirror command but first type underscore and type mirror or mi and semicolon again for enter l for last semicolon semicolon for two enters slash slash yes semicolon and here change the layer for your door finally press ok so if we test now this dynamic door block let's see the difference so let me pan here click on it click and it will ask you to mirror if you need oops something is not working correctly here let me see what's going on so I'll do it again right click properties let me check this code oops remove one semicolon and press ok let's try it again and this time as you can see it's asking you if you need to mirror this door and if you need it of course mirror it if you don't just double click on this point click click and you will have your next door ready just to place it wherever you want it so as you can see this is the easiest way to place doors in AutoCAD and this is how you save time in AutoCAD remember that you can save somebody's time too by sharing this video I'll see you here next week